Today we're going to talk about weight and weight loss and the benefits and the reasons why you want to make sure your dog is kept lean. This is Clover. Clover's on our Wolf Watchers program and he's lost almost 20 pounds. Dogs that are overweight have an 80% increased chance of developing osteoarthritis as well as cruciate ligament injuries, other orthopedic injuries and back issues. The other thing about having a dog that's overweight is it does decrease your dog's life by up to two years. Let's talk about how you can get your dog to lose weight. There are many veterinary products and foods out there that have lower calories. But the first thing you need to understand about food is how to read the dog food label. So on the back of every food, there's something called a guaranteed analysis. And what this tells you is how much protein, how much fat, how much fiber is in the food. But the most important information is at the bottom where it tells you how many calories there are a cup. For instance, this food is 360 calories per cup. And for a dog clover size, to lose weight, he should be eating between two and three quarters and four cups a day. Now for many owners, it's hard to know, do we give two and three quarters cups? Do we give four cups? Generally what I'd like to do is I say to owners, if you're feeding six cups right now, just cut it down to five cups because you don't want your dog to be running around the house looking for anything and everything to eat. So one cup of food. Many of us just reach into the bowl of food and take out a handful of food and throw a couple of handfuls in. But do we really know how much food that is? This is a cup of food and this in the bowl is just a cup of food. So that is a good way for a dog that needs to lose weight is to actually get out your measuring cup and measure the food. Now, to the dog who looks at this and says, this doesn't look like a lot of food. So what we can do is add different vegetables or apples to help the dog feel full, because that's one of the hardest problems when you're cutting down their food. Some of the items that we can use is broccoli, and we can just put it in the bowl. Green beans is a great thing for your dog, and many dogs love the green beans and some apple. Now you want to make sure you don't put in a whole apple because a whole apple obviously adds calories to the food. The other great product is using canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin, not pie filling. Pie filling has sugar in it. And what we do is we take a quarter cup of pumpkin, which is about 20 calories, and you can put it into the food. And it actually acts as fiber and it helps to make the dog feel fuller. And I've never met a dog yet that doesn't like the pumpkin. Oh! <laughs>